again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. You know, we're in this like funky weather where for the last few days, it just never stops being chilly. Never, never. It's like never any chilly. Anyway, hopefully soon we'll snap out of it. That would be nice. Talking to you today about having too much stuff. I think we overconsume every single one of us. All of us guilty, right? Okay. And while it seems nice, it's actually not nice because what you're doing is you're being wasteful, okay? Look around your house. I mean, maybe, you, maybe you're very careful. I mean, bless your heart if you are. I can't say I am. I try, but I can't, can't say I am. The goal is to live more of a minimalistic life. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just happy with bare bone stuff and, and, you know, things like that. But that's me. I don't need a lot of tchotchkes and all that because, you know, I'm 60 now. I really don't care about that stuff. Just saying. Just saying. But I think, and I know for a fact because I actually, like, know a person. Actually, I should say know of a person because the person is no longer, okay? But I just didn't want to, like, say it. I just feel so bad. I miss her so much. But... She had so many things in her house. I'm telling you, her closets were bursting. Her pantry was overflowing. I mean, I literally had to walk around her stuff. And I was like, and this was a very dear friend of mine. So I, I, I said, you know, you kind of like either got to stop shopping or like do something with the stuff. Okay. So what she actually ended up doing, she had a spare room. And she turned into, we ended up calling it her nuclear room. Because when I came back to, to see this room, all I needed was a credit card because I felt like I was walking into, I'm goofing, of course, credit card. But uh, walking into that room was like walking to a 7-Eleven convenience store. No one should live with a 7-Eleven convenience store in an apartment. So, uh, but... Uh, she didn't realize or actualize how much stuff she actually had. She had way too much stuff. Question, do you think that you have a lot of stuff? Are there things that you can give away? Are there things that you're just not using because you forgot about it? Are there things that you just don't like? Are there things that you just, for whatever the reason, can't seem to confront the box, even though it's brand new and you really, really want it and open it? Anybody ever do that? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been known to happen. So I believe this. One of the biggest money wasters in America, for example, we're over consumers, even clothing, but especially even groceries, okay? Okay. How many times have you gone to the grocery store and, and you come home and recognize that you've had like, you've had this item and you have lots of that item and then you get annoyed because you could have, you tied up your money wrongly. You could have put that cash elsewhere where it was really needed or saved it. Okay. So, I mean, here's the thing. If this is you, maybe it's not you and kudos. But if it is you, take that minute, look through your stuff a few minutes a day and say, wow, you might find something you really wanted. You might find something you completely forgot you own. You might find that necklace that you thought you didn't have. You might find that outfit that you don't need to buy. You might find uh, 10 boxes of spaghetti in your pantry uh, that you forgot about. And the jarred sauce to go with it, you might find these things. So I think we need all of us to, <clears throat> excuse me, clearly assess what we have, for one. Stop being such overtly cons consuming people. And I even think we just basically eat too much. Okay, I know I'm heavy. I don't mean like that. But I mean, all of us as a habit, we, we eat huge portions of things that, because we're taught to do that because we're taught to do that from those uh, stores that want to advertise and make you think that when you go home to a normal size burger when I think okay when I think of what 
a corn muffin looked like in 1975 when I was a teenager. And when I look at what a so-called muffin looks like today, I literally, literally can share it with four, uh, uh, four ways, four ways, one muffin. I've done it. Okay. So I think we overly consume and I think we should shut it off a little bit. What do you say? In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. I really do appreciate your time. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Without subscribers, why should I have a channel? I need to know you're watching, right? If you, uh, if you like my video, thank you for clicking like. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. In the meantime, have a great day.